Okay, Vision, we're here today to find out about pottery. All right, my name is Kaylin. Welcome to Joe Picasso's. Here we do pottery painting, we play with clay, we do mosaics, and we have a lot of fun getting very creative with a lot of artwork. Are you guys ready? Yes! All right, so follow me. Let me show you guys around. Okay. You can look up here, we have samples that are already painted, and we have things that are unpainted. We have things that are plates and bowls and cups that you can use. And then we have things that are just fun and fun to look at. So look around and let us know what you see. With me, guys. This is creepy. That's not creepy. That's not creepy. Look at the piggy bank. Ooh, piggy. We like to encourage you to think outside the box. See how he's a piggy bank, but he's painted like a watermelon? So you don't have to paint something pink just because it's a pig. You can paint it however you want. Here at Joe Picasso's, we don't just do the pottery painting. We also have mosaics where you can make beautiful pieces of art using bits and pieces of glass and ceramic. And it's just something new and different to offer. Wow, it's beautiful. Great. Thanks for showing us. Yes, you're welcome. All right, so now we're going to head over to the wheel, and we're going to meet Kevin, and we're going to see how you throw clay on the potter's wheels. Hello, how are you all today? Good. My name's Kevin. I'm going to be showing you about throwing on the wheel today. How do you throw the clay on? Well, that's a good question. What I do is I take a piece of clay that's been balled up and all the air has been pressed, pressed out of it, and I actually throw it straight down onto the, onto the bat here. That's, this is called the bat. How do you make the wheel spin? What I use today is an electric motor, and I have a little pedal over here that allows me to control how fast it's moving. So I can go fast, or I can go really slowly. How do you mold the clay? All right, so first I get my hands wet so it doesn't stick to them. And then I start by opening up the center of the clay, like that. And you see how that opens up? Just by me pushing down, I have to keep my hands wet. And then, using my hands, I push the clay in towards it. And see how it goes taller now? Yeah. See how it's starting to turn into something? Because I can also take the clay and open it up into a bowl. Ooh, wow. Ooh, that's cool. Can you make this same piece tall? All I can do is just push in like that. And it starts to get taller and more like a cup. Well, thank you very much for showing us the wheel. You're <laughs> welcome. I'd shake, but... We'll <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a pinch pot using clay. Okay. Um, We're going to start with a ball of clay. And I'm just going to put it on the table, and I'm going to use my thumb and push all the way down to the bottom. So you're going to use lots and lots of arm strength and you're going to push and make a hole in the bottom of your pot. Okay, once you've put your thumb down in the bottom of your pot, you're going to pinch around the clay. That's why they call it a pinch pot, because you're going to squeeze and then turn it and squeeze and turn it and squeeze. And you just keep doing that. So, do you guys see these cracks here? Yes. That doesn't look very pretty. So what I'm going to do to get rid of that is I can either just use my hands, which is always fun in art, and you're just going to use some water, and you can kind of use your fingers to smooth that out. Or, we've got the sponges, and you get a little bit of water. Now make sure to squeeze out all the water. You don't want a lot of water. And then you can just use that. I want to put a little ladybug right at the bottom of my bowl, so I'm going to take my little stamp, and I'm going to add some texture to my piece by sticking my little stamp in there. And then I pull it out, nice. and I've got a little ladybug in there. Okay, you want to try it? You guys you ready to get started? The clay with your own? Yes. yes. All right. All right, guys, let's carry these over to the table. Are we ready to paint our clay? Yeah. All right. When you guys are painting, I want you to think about what colors you want to use before you start to paint. So if it's a gift for somebody and you know that maybe they like blue, it'd be a nice thing to paint something that they that's their favorite color. I want you to put nice, see how thick that's going on there? You want to dip your paintbrush and paint a lot. So you want it nice and gloppy because this isn't like regular paint. This isn't stuff that they have in most schools. This is a special kind of paint. It's actually called glaze. And glaze is crushed glass. And so they make it into liquid glass, so then you're going to paint it on here. See how thick that's going on there? Nice and blobby. Okay, grab a paintbrush. Uh, I 
Emily, what are you thinking about for painting yours? That I'll give something to my sister, and then I'll give something to my mom, and I'll use colors that they both love. So. That's very cool. I think it's I'm going to paint yes. mine yellow so that it's bright like the sun. Very nice. Welcome to the kiln room. This is where all the magic happens. This right here is a kiln. It's K-I-L-N, like Nancy. Everybody always says kiln. So this is the kiln. This is the brains of the kiln. This is the part that makes all the decisions. This is what decides how hot it gets for how long and what everything happens. And then do you see these little things right here, these little coils? Those are what heat up. It's just like your oven at home, but it gets a lot, lot hotter because your oven at home goes to like, what, 500 degrees? This puppy can get up to almost 5,000 degrees. The pieces that we're gonna put in here, they go up to about 1,800 degrees. The clay pieces are gonna cook and the glaze on there is gonna cook and it's gonna come out nice and smooth and shiny. So, if you guys look over here, you can see these pieces on these two shelves. These are our pieces. So we're just gonna take them from there and put them straight into the kiln. So, what I want you guys to do is if I can have two of you kind of come closer to me, you can kind of look inside here. <laughs> Yeah, there's not a ton of room over here. So we put shelves in here, and you can see that there's pieces already in there ready to go. They're hiding in there. So we stack everything. So those are posts. These things right here are posts, and then we put all the stuff in there. We put a shelf on top of the posts, and we stack and stack and stack. So there can be hundreds of pieces in a kiln all at the same time. And I want to show you guys the stilts. See this basket over here with all these goodies on there? Oops. These are, don't touch these because these are very sharp. So these are like little needles or little nails. These are called stilts. These are pads full of all those little needles. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take your clay pieces and we're gonna put them on top of these little pads. So this little bed of needles, your piece sits on there, and then once it comes out of the kiln, because these are so tiny, they're barely touching your piece, your piece will pop right off of there. Try not to move any of the glaze. And then we take it in here. Ooh, that's nice. It is, and we're gonna need two many packets. Yes. All right, so now that our pieces are in the kiln, I'm going to close this lid right here. Going. And then I'm going to turn the machine on, and they have to spend 24 hours in here. So I'm going to say goodbye to you guys, and I will see you later. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.